Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman of this 2 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 307 to 32,567. It's finally gone underneath the 14-period moving average, but the 9 is still over the 14. So that says either we're going to take a while to roll over for the 9 to cross negative, or it's going to hold well, and we're going to have some news reports from one of the big cap uh, tech stocks that just moves. It'll have to be Microsoft or Apple because they're in the Dow. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, uh, negative action. S&P is much worse. S&P is down not just 0.91%. It's down 1.32%, taking out the first left side low of importance. The nine-period moving average is now getting closer to, and it's got a way to go to cross negative. But that's the reason why we've been talking about um, it taking up. It's a process, this turnaround that I had said. It's going to make an arch formation. Let me just draw this in right here. You can, if you check out my opening call, you'll see that we're talking about all these different things and trying to trade them. Uh, so we're looking at the weekly chart still very good, but the S&P is turning down very sharply. MACD is poor. It says that we went to the 4,088 to 4,082 support that I spoke about for the last few days as key support. The next level will be the 4050s. We're going to be watching that. Looking at the QQQ, it's got a deeper correction going on uh, because it's taken out the left side. Low of importance is now in the 311s. I said in the three under 309. Now you're starting to look at something more serious. So this is exactly where it's really important to start finding some support. IWM has been very negative, very negative, down almost four. We're looking at gold. And this is so fascinating. Gold is holding very nicely. It's up 10 at 2009. It's in within this rectangle. Um, the dollar just cannot really get legs. Yes, it is up a little bit. It's up 0.53 at 101.90. But until the dollar actually trades in the 102.30 to 102.70 area, this is just a mere bounce. We're looking at crude oil. Uh, it was up earlier. Now it's down. It's down $1.50. Uh, stuck under the 200 period moving average. And this is going to be interesting because bonds are rallying sharply. So yields are coming down. But it's still stuck within the range. Uh, so uh, hold on tight. Got great programming coming up. I'll be back with Tom a little later in the three o'clock hour. Uh, stay tuned. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and I will be back, of course, tomorrow at ten. But I'll also be back with Tom at three fifteen this afternoon. Have a great rest of the day. See you soon. The reality is that.